Hi, this is Dave from Rail Development Group. In this short video, we are going to demonstrate the proper lubrication methods to be performed on the Model 5 switch machine. Proper lubrication only takes a few minutes and is an essential step toward ensuring that the machine provides many years of trouble-free service. For this job, we recommend a Laco Zoom Spout Oiler. It is a turbine grade light lubricating oil. It is good for general purpose lubrication and prevents corrosion. It's handy because it has a tip for getting into hard to reach places. For grease, we recommend Mobile Lith SHC 220 and a good quality grease gun. We will work from one end of the machine to the other starting at the motor. Treat the hasp and hinge pins with light oil. Lightly oil the hinge pins on the brush holder. Use care not to drip oil on the carbon brushes. This will contaminate them. Move into the gear compartment of the machine. Place a few drops of oil in the oil cup on the upper portion of the clutch. Be careful not to get too much oil around the clutch as it will contaminate it. Oil all the pins, linkages, and shafts for both the hand crank and selector lever cutout switches. Next, pump grease into each one of the grease fittings in the gear compartment, the lower clutch bushing, and the intermediate gear, both the upper and the lower portion. Move to the hand throw portion of the machine and pump grease into the grease tube on the top of the crank. Remove the short grease tube and install the long grease tube. This tube directs grease to the lower portion of the crank. If the machine is equipped with a third grease tube, be sure to insert and pump grease into that one as well. Wipe down the grease tubes and put them away carefully. It is critical that they do not become contaminated with dirt or debris. If the hand throw cluster gear is equipped with a grease fitting, then pump grease into this fitting as well. Pump grease into the four grease fittings on the hand throw. Pump grease into the four grease fittings for the throw bar. There are two on each side of the machine. Move to the underside of the top plate. Grease the hand throw bearing. Apply oil to all of the oil holes located on the shifter. Next, apply oil to the pins on the hinge and the hasp. Moving to the contact compartment, apply a liberal amount of oil to the cam bar slot, lightly oil the lock rods. Going back to the cam bar slot, apply oil to the edge of the cam bar so that it runs to the bottom of the slot. Apply about one tablespoon of oil. This will help to prevent icing of the cam bar. Move on to the point detector movement. For the purpose of this video, it has been removed for clarity. Do not remove it when lubricating the machine. Oil all of the rollers and hinge points shown. Note that you should not use an oiler with a metal spout for this job, as many of the contacts will have live signal voltage on them. Pump grease into the two grease fittings on the top of the point detector movement. Finally, oil the latch stand. Oil all the hinge points and pins on the latch stand. You may also wish to oil the tumblers and the key hole on all of your padlocks. Thanks for your attention. Please give us a call if you have any questions or suggestions about this job aid. And remember, proper lubrication only takes a few minutes and will greatly improve the performance and the life of your switch machine.